I remember the first time that I began to trust my bow and let it pivot around the thumb, I thought for sure I was going to drop it. Now as a teacher, when a student tells me that, I know it's the first sign that they're doing something right. So keep an eye on my thumbnail. As the tip of the bow falls forward, I let the weight of the tip fall forward, notice that my thumbnail is still facing you in the same direction it started. You want to be sure that the bow is pivoting around the thumb and not that the thumb is following the bow and stuck to it. Notice the difference between twisting the bow when your thumb is locked in one position and actually letting the bow fall. Here's twisting, here's letting the bow fall. And it's that sensation of falling that is so tricky to want to do. Like most great things in life, developing a great bow hold involves a little bit of trust, a little bit of fear, and then embracing these two things and learning that you ultimately are in control of your destiny. You are in control of your comfort level and you have all the skills that you need to become a great artist using your bow and the violin. Once the thumb has learned to be soft and neutral and to allow the bow to pivot around it, even on the corner of the nail, then it's ready to experience the real sensation of this exercise. And you'll be one step closer to developing a powerful, loose, and virtuosic artistic bow hold.